Hi everyone, it's me Shatakshi. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. And after a very very long time, I am back to making YouTube videos properly because I finally have my summer break. It's been a year at Ashoka, so I am now a college student who has experienced little bit of college life and that is what this video is about to talk about college and college experiences and how they have been for me so yeah i hope you like this i hope you enjoy this okay i will stop rambling now at least for the intro and ramble about college life now i started ashoka in september and back then i was very 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 excited a lot of worries but yeah that is the truth i was very excited because uh, this was the first time so to say when i was going to be away from home for such a long time i have been for exchange program and things like that before but they were limited with the understanding that you come back home and you stay home and home is this place where I'm sitting right now. But once you go to a college, especially a residential one, you are juggling between two homes. One which was your own. Now this feels like your childhood space, the space you had when you were in school versus the room that you have in college now. So it's like if you're going home back and forth, which is the case for Delhi and CR kids uh, in Sonipat, then it's always a matter of transition transitioning from one home to the next and at the same time both of them sometimes are not really home you are just confused and you're like okay what am i doing where am i living and what is happening when i first went there i was thoroughly excited and i had a great great time obviously throughout my first year but um I just, every emotion that I felt, I'll try to capture it right now. Number one was huge amount of freedom because uh, you are living in a campus. You want to go out for a walk at night. You can do that at any point of time. And little things like that you can't really do outside of your house, okay? Because house has rules. You're sleeping on time. You're doing all those things. In college, you become a little unsustainable because you have to keep your academics, your social life, everything in track. Basically, you are responsible for everything. That is, to put it simply, even if you go to college at the age of 17, it is kind of understood that you are now an adult and you have to take responsibility for everything. And you are responsible for keeping yourself alive. That is the number one thing. You need to get up and have food. <laughs> you are responsible for attending your classes on time. You are responsible for everything. No one is going to tell you, no matter how good of a friend they are, they will obviously help you out. And your friends are always there to do all those things. But at the end of the day, it is your responsibility to just lead your life at college as an adult and do things right budget if you want to and party however much maintaining a balance everything is on you so at first it's thrilling but later on the realization seeps in that oh no one else is going to be doing this for me and i have to do that myself i think the best lesson this the realization happens when you forget to give laundry once or twice quite an experience in residential colleges uh don't recommend it but like you learn a lot from it so yeah uh speaking about my specific experiences at ashoka now um i'm not really happy about this fact but i became a little more introverted after going to college as compared to my school self it was way more loud, way more confident because Ashoka as a place can be a little daunting, okay? You are surrounded by so many people who are smart in so many different ways that you tend to doubt yourself and your own abilities. And I am, I can say for sure that happened to me 
so i became a little introverted i mean i will not go out of my way to talk or you know raise a point unless i have a very strong point and i'm like okay no this has to be heard and i'm not really against it either it's just it's just a change which has happened at college <clears throat> in my first sem i applied for quite a few clubs uh maybe not the most popular ones at ashoka but i applied for a club similar to word weavers at school it's called red brick words and i am very very happy to say that after my one year journey there i am now going to be joining in the monsoon semester of second year as the hod for social media and marketing there which is absolutely lovely i feel like yeah that is one of the nicest things i have done at college so far i think that is a big part of college joining clubs and societies to find people to find friends uh for me making friends was not that difficult and that is because i knew some people from before i had networked before going to college and also because i had friends from school who were going to college so you know you don't realize how much you need that that support and if you have it 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 just it means so much to have anyone you know from your school to be at the same college because from the get go even if you're not able to make friends or something like that you always know that there is some support to fall back on if anything happens you know you just have that comfort of knowing that they are there so yeah that is why navigating college wasn't that hard academics at ashoka i will say quite tough and very different from uh, cbse schooling so you need to adapt that can take time for some people for me it was just a lot of work and also i can't submit work which will be not my best attempt and in order to do that sometimes i have pushed myself a little too hard but uh, academics is very very good the professors are incredible great faculty we have a concept of uh, teaching fellows they are the people we engage with other than our professors uh, during the during any of our courses so i have had the good fortune of having great professors and great teaching fellows so far in my first year people who have actually inspired me a lot from whom i have learned a lot it's just it has been awesome ashoka has a concept of foundation courses and honestly while you might not like some of them for example i had to do chemistry this semester in my second semester that is and that is something i was not looking forward to although i liked chemistry so little bit i did look forward to it till the time i was like you know they teaching periodic table and all that that is fun that is nice it, after that it became quite difficult and i was like okay this is hard and I am a psychology student why am I doing chemistry little bit thoughts like that but then when you are interested in other things uh foundation courses related to those things are quite interesting i had a course in literature in my first sem absolutely loved it would take it again if i could have but uh, yeah that course then i had one we have a course called indian civilizations absolutely loved taking that with professor parna vedik so courses like these have been a great exposure in addition to the main degree that i am pursuing at ashoka so yeah academics is lovely in terms of how enriching it is and how much you are learning also the way academics is you have to study outside of classes you have to be regular with your coursework assignments are as such that we keep having some form of assessment quite frequently it's not like we have one big exam we do have things like that but we also have small small components of different things so we are pretty much being assessed all the time which is why you need to study extra 
it can get to you sometimes which makes it hard uh which is also reason why uh, sims are too intensive for me to sometimes make videos and vlog at all i don't even think about touching my phone because i'm just like no i have to work on this assignment because what if i don't do it i will not get a good grade grades are also there in the back of our minds because again a highly competitive environment while it is enriching and lovely and amazing it is also competitive and stressful so that is why sometimes it's a little difficult to juggle between all this uh when you go to college it's a new world it's an exciting world but that does not mean that the world that you have come from has disappeared it does take a back seat and for me at times that has been really hard because i have missed my school friends i have missed being as close to my family members as i was when i was staying at home 24/7 so that is something which does happen and uh, it is it is hard especially with school friends because you don't know where all you will end up people go to different places i have friends who are in canada who are in america who are you know just everywhere malaysia even in india we are all scattered it's not like all of us have ended up in sonipat so it's quite difficult and at times you feel guilty if you're not able to uh stay in touch with people at least it happens to me because i have loved my support system so so much and to think that i don't get to you know interact with them as frequently it is a little hurtful but uh yeah that is also part of college uh you find a lot of different people at college and that is something which is also quite interesting because you find people who are different from you you find people who are similar to you you find people from different places within my core group itself i have friends who are from shimla who are from kolkata so yeah that is the beauty of it finding different people finding commonalities with different people and just those conversations that you have once you are in a college setting once you are studying at a place like ashoka where you share classes with people who have come to study different things so i have shared classes with people who are prospective economics majors too and because of that we all have you know some sort of key concepts that we talk about and even our jokes are sometimes academic -y. overall it's been fun it has been very very enriching i know i keep saying this word but uh, that is a key part of my experience one more thing that i would want to say is that sometimes you feel very lonely and it's uh, not because you don't have any friends or the fact that uh, you don't have a lot of work sometimes i know for a fact that i had work i had engagements to keep me busy but still i have felt you know that little bit of loneliness because you're just like what is happening so much changes and i think a big part of college is also just even in fact in the first year is just to process that things are changing because you have come from a protected environment you have come from a background where you are not really used to facing these challenges because you have always had you know your parents if you were close to some teachers at school even they help out and at college you're just like okay first of all i'll have to explain this problem that in itself will take a very long time might as well do it myself and then uh, yourself has no idea of how to solve those problems because some of these are happening to you for the first time so yeah in moments like those you're just like what do i do who do i turn to and that could be a little daunting but um at the end of it i would just say that socializing little bit to whatever extent you can 
be it with people in your own classes or you know just your roommate people through your roommate stuff like that it really helps it helps to stay in touch with school friends to stay in touch with your family members uh and if anything serious happens please tell them uh i have always always realized that no matter where i am and what is happening if there's anything serious i have to tell my parents i can trust them i can turn to them and then they will help me out so yeah for you it could be any of your family members could be an elder sibling or a cousin but yeah just if it's bigger than you if you feel like you can't do it on your alone uh, on your own then please take help i am sure there is someone who is there to help you out who is there to guide you so that is pretty much it for my experience my learnings and for my college life thus far at ashoka i can say that i have found my people i have found my interests and i can say that it is a space that now feels like i'll not say second home as a third home because second home is always cool uh but yeah that's it for this video i hope i have not rambled for too long but if you like this video then please like share and subscribe and hopefully i'll be back very very soon with another video whatever it is uh take care stay safe and if you are going to go to college soon best of luck i hope you have a ball bye bye